Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Hyundai Palisade and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how the front grille looks before doing the installation. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material to black out the outer section of the front panel. Link for the product will be provided below. But with that being said, let's start with the installation video. So before we start with the installation for the front grille, we need to make sure we've prepped the entire front section of the panel that we're going to be working on. So all we need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to remove all the contaminants that the front panel may have. And then once you're done prepping the panel, make sure that everything's completely dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the entire grill. So now that we finished prepping the front panel, now we can start with the installation. So we're going to start with the piece that covers this entire front section of the grill. So to start off, just place the film onto the chrome panel. That way we could work on one end. So you could work from either this side or the other side. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure wherever you start, you align it to one edge. So align it here and make sure you're covering the chrome on this side and on the lower section as well. Once you place it, just carefully Make your way to the top. If you need to lift the film to readjust it, you can. Just make sure you take your time and reach it to the top end. You can always move it more to this end. You just need to lift it and readjust it. As long as you make sure the whole chrome is covered here and you have enough to cover this side, you should be good. So now that we fixed it, everything's being covered here. The chrome's still being covered on this end and just finish off tacking on the rest of the panel here. So once you finish placing the film, now all we need to do is grab our squeegee and start tagging down everything. If you do have fingers, just make sure you lift the film carefully and you help remove the fingers and just squeegee. If you did have the license plates on the grill, you are going to have the two holes right here in the center. Those holes, we're just going to work them out, apply heat, and then just continue on installing the rest of the film. So just make sure this whole section where the license plate go for the screws are tacked down. Make sure there's no air left over and we should be good. And just finish off with the rest of the film. Like I said, if you need to lift it to, re to remove the fingers, you can. That way we could just tack down the film and avoid creasing it. So just continue on with the rest of the film until you tack down everything. Lift carefully and tack down. So once you finish tanking down the entire panel, now the next thing to do is to make sure before you apply heat, just make sure there's no air trapped underneath the film. Double check and see, we should be good. And now all we need to do is apply heat all over the edges. That way we start sealing this whole section and also the section underneath. Make sure you apply heat all around. And then if we have any excess material, we'll trim it off around the gap that's around the grill here. Once we apply heat, we're also going to apply just a little bit of heat where the sensor is located on the grill. So for the sensor, it is going to be optional if you want to leave the film right on top of it, at least trim off around the area of the sensor because it depends on the sensitivity of the sensor. You may need to remove it. In case the sensor system on your vehicle activates, it's because this is being blocked. So if, if that happens, you will need to trim off the extra material on this area here. But if it doesn't, you can leave it. Just make sure you apply heat around the sensor. That way the film starts molding to the design of the sensor here. And then once you're done, we move on with the next piece. So once you finish applying heat, now we could trim off the extra material. Create the outline for the lower section. Since there is a little bit of extra material, insert your blade right in the middle of the gap. 
and just trim off the excess material and you just continue on with the rest of the panel trimming off all the excess material and then once we're done we'll move on to the next piece okay so now we're moving on to the next piece that covers this section here so with this one just place the film onto the grill and you can start from one end just make sure you start off right on the edge here place it and align it right on the top section here you could go a little bit more higher that way it matches the piece where we left off so roughly there and then just follow along with the rest of the design until you reach it to the other end So once you finish placing the film, just grab your squeegee and start tacking down the entire panel. Make sure to take your time to squeegee all of the air out and just make sure you secure everything first. And then we'll apply a little bit of heat just to help it tack down around the curves and around these two sections here to help remove the fingers. And if you need to lift it to remove some fingers, so for example here there's a small one, just lift it, readjust it and place it back down. Just like that, squeegee the film. And that's pretty much it. Now we could apply heat to see all the edges and we should be good. You can use the low setting when you're applying heat. That way we just help the film start tacking down to the edges and around the curve. And if you have any extra material into your blade, right in the small gap and just trim off the extra material. Okay, now that we finished installing the lower sections of the grill, now we're moving on to this top section here. So with this one, grab the film and align it right on the edge here. Wherever you left off with this film, you could overlap it just a little bit or you just meet it as close to it as possible. Just make sure that you're just covering the chrome and then the rest just follow through until you reach to the top end here. And then just help it guide it to tack it down around the curve. So it should be flat like this. Make sure to remove all the air that's underneath this section here. And then to help it tack down on this area, just go little by little. You can use your finger just to help it tack down and then just help it wrap underneath. If you're having trouble tacking it down, you can always apply a little bit of heat to relieve the tension that's around this curved area here. So grab your heat gun, apply a little bit of heat around this area. Let the film cool down and then just use your finger to help it tack down underneath the panel. You have a small gap here where you could tuck in the film. And then the same steps that were done for this side, you will repeat it to the other end that you're missing. And then once you're done, we move on to the last piece here. Okay, so for the last piece, all we need to do is just align it where we left off. You can start here or on the other side. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure wherever you start, you give yourself enough material to cover this side. And then just make sure when you're aligning it, use the top half of the grill as the guide to align the rest of the film. And if you do happen to have a little bit of extra material on the top section here, that can be tucked in underneath this gasket here. Just make sure to lift the hood, that way you could move this gasket and tuck in the film underneath. Once the film has been placed on the grill, grab your squeegee, start tagging it down. Make sure to remove all of the air. And then make sure to remove the air right here in the body line where this grill is located here. And to finish it off, just apply a little bit of heat to remove the tension that it has here and then helping it tack down underneath the panel here. So start from the middle, work your way from one end and then finish off to the other. So apply a little bit of heat and then slowly just help the film tack down on the middle section here. And then start tightening down underneath. Once you finish tagging out underneath, if you do have any excess material, some of the material can be tucked in underneath the grill since there is a small gap. If you still have a little bit of extra material, then just trim it off. So for example, underneath here, there's just a little bit of extra material. So wherever you see that extra material, into your blade and just trim it off carefully. And 
And that's pretty much it. Once you've finished trimming off all this excess material, the last thing to do is post heat the entire grill. So the last thing to do once you finish with the entire installation for the front grill is to grab your heat gun and apply heat throughout the entire film. So make sure if you are using the high setting, just don't be too close to the film because you might accidentally burn it. So just make sure you apply heat evenly throughout the entire panel. That way we help the adhesive on the film activate faster. Take your time. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill chrome delete installation for the 2022 Hyundai Palisade. We hope that the video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.